lightning wizards. All right, welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to look at one of my favorite tools. Um, and I use this all the time in my images across a whole variety, whether it be landscape or portraits or um, just, I mean, there's so many uses for this tool, it's crazy. Um, and the tool that I'm going to talk about today is the uh, Luminance Slider, uh, or Selective Color Changes using the Luminance tool. Um, now, what this is, this is located under your HSL Color Black and White tab. Um, and when you expand it, you'll kind of see this. You'll see areas for hue, saturation, and luminance. Uh, I'm not going to get into satur saturation and hue today. We're going to stick to the luminance. Now, but basically what the luminance slider does is it allows you to control selective colors in an image. And rather than saturation, which ramps up or decreases the saturation of an image, kind of gives it more color or less color, luminance is similar, but what it deals with is the brightness of a color, uh, which is kind of a big difference. So basically you can make a color brighter or darker not necessarily more or less saturated, but just brighter or darker. Um, and there's a lot of uses for this tool. Just say, for example, right here, if there's a certain color in an image that you want to kind of emphasize more or darken out a bit, you can do that. So let's just kind of take the extreme example here of her red, what is that? Her red hat, toque, as we say in Canada. Um, and let me just go here. So now, with a lot of tools in Lightroom, uh, this luminance slider has this as well. You can click on this little tab here, go over to an area of your image, click on it, and it will choose kind of highlight the slider that's definitely that's uh, that's impacted. So right there, you notice my orange slider kind of highlights a bit. So I'm going to click on there and just drag this up and down. It's actually the orange and the red that's impacted there. So I can kind of pull that up and down. You notice that's impacting skin tones too. And I don't know if I want to do that too much, but just to show you how that tool works. For this particular image, what I do want to do, though, is I want to bring back some of the detail of the sky and the snow that's kind of lost because I had to overexpose this image a little bit. It was pretty bright out there, um, but she, in kind of in relative to the background, was a little bit darker. So in order to expose her nicely, I overexposed my background just a bit. Now, if you totally overexpose a background, if you blow it out, you lose information and it's really hard to recover. But if you have one of those images that's just slightly overexposed, this is where um, you can use luminance to help you out a bit. Especially if you have a tone that's not evident in skin tones and whatever, like right here. This, although it looks white, is actually a bit on the bluish side, I'm guessing. And the way we can know that for sure, again, click right here. Just, I'm going to pull it over to the sky here and just click and drag this down and yeah, you notice my blue luminance slider going down. So if I hop over to here, uh, let's just kind of see the extreme examples. I can make that super bright or super dark. Um, and you notice how much detail comes back when I pull that luminance slider down. All of a sudden now I'm seeing some shadow detail. I'm seeing some blue in the sky that was just kind of not evident at all with that image being overexposed, even though it was blue to my eye, uh, my camera did not pick up on that. So right here, I think this is a prime example of where luminance, just pulling that down, actually helps my image quite a bit. It brings back a lot of detail and kind of makes that image pop in a way that I think is kind of a little bit more boring, leaving it right here. Now, right here, I'm lucky in the sense that she doesn't have a lot of blue tones on her because it, it's a global adjustment and it's going to adjust it right across everything. Um, so, but right here, the only part of her that it's impacting is right here on her uh, boots. I know there's a better word for that than boots, but I'm just going to call them boots. Um, and, but right here, yeah, so it's impacting it somewhat, but not enough that I'm worried about it. And, but it brings back that background very nicely. I like that. Um, so one quick example of how the luminance slider would help me process that image. There's other things I do, but that's one of what we're going to focus on for today. Another quick image. Uh, so right here, this is Renee. I just uh, photographed Renee not too long ago on the streets of Vancouver. And now, right here is an example of an image that I 
kind of overexposed. My, my light, I used an off-camera flash here, and I didn't notice at the time I'm a little bit too bright in the face. So if I go and zoom in here, you notice it. it's a little bit hot. This is kind of one of those issues that I, I usually try to get right in camera, but I obviously didn't notice that I was a little bit on the hot side, and so we have an issue. Now here, I would probably use a combination of things to bring that back down to kind of more of a normal way. We're, we're going to use a luminance slider, but we're also going to use this highlights um, slider up in our basic section here. So I expand my basics, and basically I'm going to pull down this highlight. So this will bring back some of that information. Now if I was way overexposed, I'm not going to be able to kind of pull that back. But I'm just a little bit, which I still have enough information to work with. I pull that down. Now that bring kind of takes away the hotness of the overall image. Now if I go back here to my HSL, back to the luminance, now I'm just going to play with the orange luminance because that's basically what our skin tones are here and just see if I can bring that down even further, which I can. So right there, I can kind of bring back those highlighted air, overblown areas down just a little bit, which is really cool, and bring that down to a point where now it doesn't look overexposed. Now I do have an issue where I find that she looks a little bit too orange with me doing this. So this is where I'd probably hop over to the saturation tab um, and tone down saturation just a little bit on top of that to kind of make it look more normal. So I mean a lot of these uh, sliders, you use them in conjunction with other ones to kind of get the effect you want. But here, again, by pulling down that luminance so that it's not overblown and then pulling down the saturation of my oranges, I get more to a point where I think I've recovered it and I kind of like it. Let me just do a quick before and after on that. And if you want to very quickly just see your before and after on any image, use the backslash key on your keyboard. So I'm just going to click that and there's my before. So super bright, hot, overexposed, kind of a bad image. Afterwards, it brings it down a lot more. And you know what, I think I probably brought that down just a bit too much. I'm just going to bring that back ever so slightly so it doesn't look all murky. Okay, before, after, before, after, I've kind of recovered an otherwise unusable image to something that I think looks pretty cool. And there are other things I would do to this image if I was doing a full process on it, but that would be one of the first quick changes that I'd make to kind of bring that image back to where I want it. So, yeah, luminance slider, I love it, I use it all the time. You l love it for correct, uh, skin tones, even if you have an image where you, your person just doesn't seem to stand out against the background a lot, very often the orange luminance um, slider will impact the skin tones the most. So just cranking that up a bit, bringing it to the, uh, the right hand side, will tend to make your skin tones a little bit brighter. So if you have one of those images where you don't have that pop, try doing that. That can sometimes give it a, a nice little effect. Um, I shoot a lot of newborn photography too, and one of the things I find with newborns is that very often you have kind of reddish skin tones. Sometimes they're orange, but they're just, um, yeah, I kind of do a combination of bringing up the luminance on the orange and red to kind of brighten it a little bit, and then bring down the saturation of the orange and red. So it just kind of brings those skin tones to a nicer place. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and have fun with Luminant Slider. It's a great, great tool. Uh, I use it all the time.